Welcome gamers to episode one of Immortal Tactics War of the Eternals. My name is Das Tactic. Welcome to the channel and welcome to the series. So this is going to be the uh, really the first part of the progression through um, through a run. We're going to do a run through Immortal Tactics. So we've got ourselves a uh, look. We did actually sort of start. We'll just go back into the one that we started last time. We'll just continue the adventure. But we started off with using the like the angel character uh, back into here, which has sort of got like healing abilities. And we've then got our different units in through this side. So we've got like um, a level one uh, knight or fighter, a level one uh, rogue or basically an archer, and a level one healer. So that's sort of where we are. So we'll just go continue the adventure. And we'll try to sort of rip through these. Now we have to defeat all the enemies in through here. And this one here, show your leader that you can win without any help, without the help and power of him. And your th three units alone can save the army. Now we sort of have to do this anyway. <laughs> now if you watched episode zero, and I should, so I would strongly suggest that you look at that if you're wanting to sort of get an understanding of how the mechanics work. Uh, very, very briefly, uh, that we, we, we have a progression through like a, a campaign that is set in concrete essentially as far as the progression is concerned. And as I said in the last episode, I would love to see branches off from that, like a bit like Slay the Spire. But in this case, um, this one has just got a single progression. Um, and that each map that you come into will be randomly generated through like an algorithm. So it's not, it's not un, like it won't be wildly different each time you play it, but this is different. The independence re sub requirement or secondary requirement, we don't have to do this one, but um, if, we, if we don't use him, we then get extra points and he end, ends up getting extra abilities and extra power for later on in the actual run. So the run is through the actual campaign style of the game itself leading to a boss fight which can take quite some time and then we have these little mini battles which you know can take anywhere from like from five minutes to 20 minutes so type thing depending on the complexity and we have to defeat all the required um enemies so we'll just get started now we start off extremely weak and we have to sort of build up so we're almost better off trying to get our progression happening at the start now we have to defeat everyone there may be another spawn that may come in as well there's nothing else for us to do in through here. Sometimes there's going to be other secondary elements. So they turn, It's the, it, they have their move, we have our move, we have our attack, and then they have their move. Now, this guy here has got four health. Um, I've got, and if we have a quick look at these guys, we can then sort of see that this is a Treant Giant. It's going to do roots the target unit, dealing, um, dealing one and a half damage and adds cripple status, which uh, enables the unit to move for two turns. So we're going to have to be careful we don't get hit by this guy now we know that if we end up next to him and we don't kill him then he's going to then do that attack so we just got to be careful that we don't end up in that in that situation our guy has only got because he's starting on level one has only got this sword slash which does two damage so i can if i have a look at this guy here he's got three damage but i'm going to need to plan how i kill this one off now initially this guy here is useless all he's got is this um, is he does have a healing ability so we can use the healing if we have to and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to try to weaken this guy um, this one will be able to move into here next turn so we better just be mindful of that um, I think what we'll do is we'll hit this guy kill him off because uh, he's only got like two two health so I can actually I can kill him off with this unit so if I move that one down into there, move this one down into here, because he'll be he'll be killed anyway. So we'll just move him down to there. And um, and I want to start to weaken this one. I've just got to do one damage to that one and then we'll be okay. So let's just move that one. Now the this this one here has got a range of three, so I can actually hit it from here or here. It really doesn't matter where I do it. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually go up to here so that this guy doesn't move too far down. And um, that way he should actually move only move one in i hope now, this one also has a range of three so it will actually be able to hit me from that other location but i think i'm going to take it it's only half a time to see what he does do now it's our attack phase so we've got this one here we'll just do uh flick two damage on that unit there so he's gone and there's no there's no random number generator or anything like that it is what you're seeing is what you're getting now I'm going to go and hit this guy over here. So that will then bring him down to three, which will then give me the opportunity to kill him next turn. And every time I do this, they're going to get a little bit of experience. This is the experience that we sort of see through this side. We've already gone to level two with this guy. 
So when we have a look at it, we've now unlocked this particular. So wields your sword and inflicts two damage to three units together that are adjacent to you. Now that will upgrade a second time when he reaches level seven. This one here upgrades, I'm not sure what the upgrade is on level six. So we want the upgrades to actually occur. This one here, we don't know, it unlocks at level two, unlocks at level three. And we really want this one for this guy. So in one sense, I want to take a little bit of damage so, just so I can use that. Um, I'm just going to wait there. So it, it would replenish his abilities. Yeah, we've taken half damage there, and he's taken half a damage. Now he can't actually heal himself up. Yeah, so he only moved one in instead of moving two, which is good because it, it now allows me to move him back away from that fight into, say, here. Um, now, here, before we do that one, let's have a look at this guy. This is got a range of two, so I can actually, uh, that one can actually hit from there. So let's just go to here. Uh, we can keep this one where he is. And uh, I can keep that one where that is. So I can move that one back up, which then takes him away from the other the other units. I need to protect him. All right, so every time he moves, he regenerates a little bit because he has to then use his, his healing ability. So we're going to now hit this unit with one attack. In fact, if I do the... Um, I might be better off if I smack this one first. So we're going to be down to one after we do this one. So he takes a little bit more experience with that hit. This one here, we then go and hit it again. This one should give us the kill, which then gives us a lot of experience, and that will definitely shoot this one up at the next level. Bang, gone. He's now level two. So uh, we're starting to sort of get there. So if we have a look at, at uh, his abilities, he now has a regeneration, so Earth re rejuvenation aspect in through this side. And you can see that I can't do anything with this one here. We've got no uses left for the for this um, for this soul cleansing, which is why when we actually have a look at this, whoops, uh, the independence I've got, I've got no, I can't use him anyway. And so uh, it heals all your units for four health and gives you uh, gives all of them health regeneration, which lasts for three turns. So very very useful when we need it, but at this point in time, we actually don't have we can't use it because he doesn't we haven't empowered him yet. We need to achieve this to get the empowerment. So we'll just leave that where that is. Now I want him to level up as well. So I need to get him doing healing. So he needs to sort of start to use his skills. So holy, holy osmosis, this unit gives up his own life to over half, like he gets down to one point essentially. You hit a unit for three health. So we want to heal up this unit here. That one, now that one levels up to level two now as well. So we've now got all of them at level two. And this is quite important. Now that one's got three um, so they've, that one here can actually hit that one that one can't hit anything uh, I can only really move into there with this one or I can move this one back let's have a quick look and see what we've got with this one three three levels in through that side it does have a flail swing so flail attack that inflicts one damage to three units together that are adjacent to you and so what I can do here is just move this one back around to here for example um, and uh, yep, this is turn three. Move that one across. This one's still safe where he is, so we don't need to move him off. That, that, that then moves it out of the attack range of these guys. And we just stay where we are there. So um, now we've, if I don't use his abilities in the next attack, he will then start to, he'll get another one of these. Back phase. So he's now up to what, every, he goes up by half every, every single turn. Okay, so uh, who do we want to level up? This one here, um, we get a, a we get an ability to push things back at that point. This one we've already got probably the most useful one, which is to um, is to do the same as what this one has with a with like an area attack. So uh, I think we'll start the attack with him. That's done two damage, and then we can just do, finish him off with uh, with this one here. There we go, and he's not. He didn't get to level three in that in that instance, and uh, we want him to get this one back. So if we just don't do anything, that will then replenish. And you saw there it had a little plus added. So they now move into where they can do some damage. One, two, three. Actually, they didn't. That one here can. Now this is only swamp, so um, I can actually move into there. We've got four and a half there. 
Now what I can do is, um, so this unit gives up its own life to heal a unit for three health. This unit's uh, health becomes one, so it'll do it at two. If we move this one through to here, I then get a kill there against that unit. So we'll do that. There's no, no damage that's going to come back that way. That one can still actually hit us. Let's just move this one up into here so we can so we can help it. And then we'll get this one to go back down and um, let's get ready to sort of do another attack. And so I'm really focusing at the moment on upgrading. So what I want to do is I want to go back into here and go and use, use the Holy Osmosis, get this one, le um, this one up. Yeah, that one can just go back up to five. Heal. So he just gets a bit more experience by doing that one. And it's really important to get these red ones. So we smack him. We then do a shot. Do a bit of damage. He's gone to level three now, so we now have the next, the next one that we want to be using. Here we go. We've got a new group that's now have now wandered in. Got three more. So we need to be a bit careful here. Um, now they can't do any damage to us. What I want to do is just keep on healing up units, like in getting this one up as quickly as I can into level three. So that's that's his his ability really starts to come good at level three. So let's just move this one down. Um, I want to keep that one firing at that particular unit. Let's just move that one down. We can't go through our units. So we have to be a bit careful of that one. So there's nothing that can hit us from there. And this one here has only got like one minute because I, I ended up on the swamp. Okay, now we have our shot. So we get to go first, so I can kill that one off. That gives me a level three there. And uh, what I'll do here is I will actually do nothing again. I'll just wait, which will then give me the... Um, which the Divine Blessing will give me another ability here. Um, so with the Divine Blessing, all attacks done to nearby units have a damage reduction of half damage. This unit is not included in the damage reduction, so it, it, if I needed to, I could use that protection. I think I'm just going to wait. That way I can just do another healing, healing one. And there's nothing we can do here, so we'll just wait there as well. And that then adds back any, any replenishment that we needed. Okay, so now we've got an, an interesting one where I can do... I can kill that one off there and kill that one eventually. Um, Let's move this one up. We've got three of these now, if I need them. But I can kill that one off with just the archery, so let's just move that one away from that attack. Um, we'll leave that one where that is. We'll just wait. And uh, this one here, we'll wait as well. Okay, so now we go in. We're going to do this uh, this massive cleave, which is then going to kill off this one and do damage to that one there. We don't have any any experience in the experience bar through here. This one's taken a little bit of damage, but that'll be okay. Let's close. that kills that one off. Gives us a little bit more experience, so it becomes more and more difficult to level up. Uh, this one here, we can then hit with that. Kills that one off. And um, and then we've got this one as well, where I can now just go back and try to get this one to level three, if possible. <laughs> Let's see if we can do it. Yes, he's gone level three. That now gives me a, uh, a super attack with him. Now at level four, they end up getting other skills. Now this is going to be a, this will be the last one that we have to then do. Now there's no one close to leveling up, so I don't really need to give any of them an actual a boost along. So I'm just going to wait where we are there. I can just wait where we are with all of these. Attack phase. So killing this one off with level three. Um, I can push this one back if I wanted to. I could uh, I could hit this one with the uh, cleansing the evil spirits. So we can do that one. You can see through here, the Holy Spirit is uh, this one's now been activated. This this unit is immune to the curse status and heals this uh, unit by half health for every movement turn. Double experience. Actually, you may have already had that one, actually, the Holy Spirit. That may have already come with it. Do the others have theirs yet? No. This one locks at, unlocks at five. That one unlocks at four. So we're closest to this one here. Let's just go and get these guys doing what they've now got to do. So we've now got the damage that we needed to have with this unit. So we'll just finish this one off. 
This like rogue type unit can actually do more damage. So we've won uh, same missions one two, but uh, and that's the the benefit we actually have uh, back in through here. So we've got both of these conditions, and so I think that's what it means. Like these missions, I don't know if missions is the right word for this one. Actually, I don't know. Did I explain that this was sponsored content? I've got a funny feeling I didn't, guys. So sorry. This is actually sponsored content. So. Um, and I don't have any requirement to give any positive feedback. That's why I've been giving honest feedback, but I really do like the game. Uh, and so, uh, yeah, and it's it does have a, a like a demo coming out uh, that you'll be able to play if you're interested uh, from June the 13th to June the 20th. So maybe if you wish list the game, you'll sort of then at least be, you'll be in the loop there. And also the, the game doesn't come out for another you know, a month and a half or so uh, on July the 15th. So it's a little way off before it releases and it only releases into early access. And I actually like that idea because it means that the game can grow. The developer is very, very responsive. And, um, and so I think that the bigger the community gets around the game and sort of I, I think that the game will sort of end up in a, in a pretty magical place by the time it actually does get to launch phase, you know, beyond the early access. So it's already... It's already awesome, you know, but it's but there's certainly other little things I think that could be added to it over time. So anyway, I think this is going to be a, a pretty cool game, and I'm not saying that because it's being sponsored. I really do like what I'm what I'm seeing here. I I actually don't take sponsorships on unless I actually like the game. By, by the way, so just if you sort of if I do if I do sponsored content, it's because I um I do recommend what I'm seeing. So anyway, we can now explore the next area. So we don't get to we can't leave from here. We can't go and sit around, but we can, if we wanted to, leave at the next phase. Let's just go and start the next game. So we now move across to here. So so the environment tests your strength with forces uh, of it to join in and is uh, set to see you uh, worthy to defeat the celestial void and release the innocent souls from this area to their freedom. Now, there is a backstory which I sort of I skipped over. I didn't really go through it. It sort of goes through like the a fairly convoluted storyline as to why we're fighting what we're fighting. Like there's there's like a celestial void which is sort of um, poisoning the world or, or you know sort of giving promoting evil through the world and our job is to try to stop that and so we go through these various boss fights until we sort of get to the final boss fight up through here so uh, we'll press any key to continue now uh, we've got to defeat defeat everyone so this is war defeat all the enemies uh, time is ticking so defeat all the enemy units in nine turns to save yourself and all of your allies now we still can't use this because we haven't got a full a full um a full uh, go of one, one of those and environmental observer so be mindful of by not letting your army get hit by any environmental attacks and effects so that's actually something we have to be careful of and that's going to be hard for our units so we'll start this one here now again this is all randomly generated we've started in the, at the top I mean, we're going to be innocent at the top, but there's no requirement to look after her. Okay, so, um, yeah, we've got somebody up there. So, innocent child, protect and save this unit. Any attack will kill this unit. Protect this unit from the dangers of the field. But it's not actually one of our requirements. So, it may, it may be too hard for us to do that. So, we can see that the game is now pushing, pushing itself into, into different areas. Now, we have a... Um, this unit can do a lot of damage. Um, range four. So if we go across, because we now have this ability, that's four damage. And this guy here has got four, so I can kill that one off. If we have a look at that one, it's got a range of two. So if I move that one over into the swamp, let's do that. We can then kill this one off straight away. We do have this unit at three. And I've got this one, so I can do like a, a, an attack there and kill that one off with these other units. So let's just move that one down into there. And uh, and then we can kill that one off by either just keeping it where it is. Actually, I'll keep it where it is and um, yeah, we'll see what they attack. They, this one can get two two attacks coming in ultimately. So we'll, uh, we'll end our turn again. They've already had their movement phase. It's now our movement phase. Next, it's, the, uh, it's, ne it's then our attack phase. So... I'm just going to wait here. So it's our attack. Um, go across and now use this spiritual cleansing and destroy that. It's awesome. Now he's only level 3 at the stage, so we still we didn't level up at all. We've then got this uh, massive cleave. Let's finish that one off. 
And then we've got this one here, and I'm just going to do a, a damage here and just kill that one off as well. Okay. Now there's going to be more spawns coming in, so I do, I've got to be careful we don't move too far away. I've taken one damage in total there. This is the environmental effect. This one's going to be a, 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 um, a shock a shock blast, which, which is going to come through. Now I can kill that one. This one's going to take, this one's got two health, but the environmental effect that's coming is a thunderstorm. So expect thunderstorms to happen here, inflicting uh, units in this, to be damaged by one damage. It gives paralysis as well. So that's actually pretty cool. Now what I want to do here is I want to move off. No one else is injured except for him. Now he actually regenerates every by half a health every turn. So I'll just move him out of the fighting range of all of these different units just for one turn. There we go. And he heals by half, so he's now up to two and a half. Um, that one's dead if I attack it with this one. Oh, and I can't move off this one here. All right. Let's move past. I don't want to move too far away. Two, three, I do, I do need to move down. All three of those can hit him, but um, actually I can, I can actually smack, I can hit that one out of the equation if I wanted to, but in fact if I hit that one there with this with this one here, it's going to do, um, oh it's only got a range of two, okay, no, it's, the, um, it's the normal attack, range three, so if I do that one there, the environmental damage will then take care of the rest of that one, so let's just do that but all three of these will get a shot at one of our units that one can't do anything so we'll just wait this will then replenish the massive cleave and this one as well also actually what I can do is try to protect this unit so I can actually just go across and do divine blessing that will then give us protection see no damage coming in we evaded that particular attack we evaded that one there as well now here's my little four Yes, that, that's the environmental damage that then sort of did the damage to the that side. We need to still defeat all. Time is ticking. There's more spawns coming in. Um, so now we have this one back again. So I can actually come back down and do more damage this way. But, but, but can we actually do that? Um, do three there. Kill that one off using that same attack. I can't get close enough to this one here. One, two, three. Yeah, no, I can't do it with this unit. So I'm better off staying where I am and attacking this one, I think. Now these guys here have got... Uh, it flicks one damage. Yeah, so that's okay. We can certainly take this on board. Um... One thing we might be able to do here, actually, you know, I'll leave that where that is. What we will do is we will actually use the healing on this unit. So I'll just wait there and we'll wait here. So we get to attack first. We use this cleave. Which leaves one, like that one will get a shot against us. This one here, we've got the... Um, the range unit there, so I can actually hit that one. That's the only one I can actually hit. That will be dead next turn. And uh, this one here, I'm just going to use the healing. So this one will go back to one point. So these are still only level three. This one is a level there. We've got the protection feature there. One damage done there. It's going to be an environmental attack through there. And it's going to be another thunderstorm. Alright, so I can actually now hit this one again. Um, so if we have a look, if yeah, we don't have anything else there, we'll just we'll wait where we are. Just wait. And um, this one here, we will... I can actually move around to do more damage. But I can do the damage from here anyway, so let's just do that. Let's just move on up. 
So there's only one health there, but I'll, I'll, I'll bring this one down. Actually, I have to, this is where I wish I could undo the move, because um, I would have preferred to have kept it over here and done, killed that one off, and then killed that one off uh, this turn. So yeah, it really does need an undo move. There's no, I can't see a good reason not to have it there, to be honest. Uh, and then this one here, we'll just keep that one where that is. Now, uh, this, is, this is the one as it levels up, we get to this one here. The next upgrade for this one is level 10. I just really like the simplicity of the whole system. It's very, very cool. Uh, this one here, we've got one and a half health. Now, I can't do anything, so I'll just, I need to wait. And uh, this one here, we do get some damage. Uh, we can just smack this one now. We did two damage, it's down to one. And... This one will take a bit of damage next turn, but that's okay. Okay, sinners must be cleansed and redeemed and always be present. I'm saying. <laughs> there goes the environmental effect. Now, um, this one here, we just want to... I can finish that one off. I can finish that one off, which just means that I can just wait for a second. And it's going to heal. Right there and we'll wait there and then this will finish this one off there's no other spawns that we can see attack phase coming back in so I'm going to go and use another heal spell here so once you've been healed up you can just do a normal attack down this way and this one here we just finish this one off as well and level up there, great. Okay, so we've got a level 4 there. This one's still not level 4. But we really want these guys leveling up. So you can sort of um, milk a level if you if you can. Actually, we've now got the skill has now been added. So we can, if we need, need to, now use this healing area. Anyway, guys, we're sort of out of time for this episode. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this. In fact, what we'll do is we'll get started and then I can save the game and then come back and sort of show you the next levels. So we'll just go through a few more levels and you get a feel for it. So we go off to the third the third one in the progression. So uh, press any key to continue. There we are. And now we have a whole different set of, uh, of units for us to fight in the next episode. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you then.